Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vladislav Kovalev and Amin Tabatabe. This is a game from Aeroflot Open Chess Tournament, played in Moscow in 2018. Vladislav Kovalev is 24 years old grandmaster, born in Belarus, and play with black pieces. Amin Tabatabe is a rising star. 17 years old player from Iran. Vladislav Kovalev started with e4, e6, d4, d5, the French defense. Why to move? Bishop to d3, knight to c3 is by far the most played move. Bishop to d3, not so often played. d takes on e4, Bishop takes on e4, knight to f6, bishop to f3, c5, the standard French defense move, knight to e2, knight to c6, bishop to e3, and now knight to d5. Why to move? To take the knight on d5 or not? Bishop takes on d5 was played. If white castles kingside, then knight takes on e3. So we have bishop takes on d5, queen takes on d5. This is better than pawn takes on d5. If pawn takes on d5, then d takes on c5. Back to our game. Queen takes on d5, white to move. Should white defend the pawn on g2 or not? Kovalev decided to have an interesting game. He played knight from b to c3, attacking the queen and sacrificing the pawn, and the offer was accepted. Rook to g1, queen to f3, knight to b5. And white has a compensation for a sacrificed pawn. The threat is knight to c7, check winning the rook, and another problem in black camp is that if bishop goes to e7, rook, white rook will take on g7. Black to move, rook to b8, d takes on c5, f6. If uh, bishop to e7, then the rook takes on g7. f6 was played, knight to d6 check, Bishop takes on d6, queen takes on d6. White is threatening, rook takes on g7. g6 was played, rook to d1, rook to f8, and now knight to d4, with a multiple threats. One is knight takes queen, another one is knight takes on c6, and then the queen takes rook. What is the best move for black in this position? What would you do? I mean, Tabatabe played the best move. Queen to d5, offering to exchange queens. If queen to e4, the knight takes on c6, and after queen takes on c6, queen takes rook. Back to our game. Queen to d5, and the queens were exchanged. Black managed to defend. Material is equal, but white is standing slightly better. Bishop to f4. Black to move, how would you continue? I mean, Tabatabe played knight takes on d4, this is the best move. If rook to a8, the knight to b5 and white is better. So we have knight takes on d4. Would you play rook takes knight or bishop takes rook on b8? What is better? Kowale played rook takes on d4. This is better than bishop takes on b8. If bishop takes on b8, then knight to f3 check, and after king to e2, knight takes rook on g1 check, rook takes on g1, and it is about equal. It is equal. Back to our game. So, Kowale played rook takes on d4. Rook to a8, rook takes on d5, white is a pawn up, 
bishop to e6, attacking the rook. Rook to d6, attacking the bishop. Should black take the pawn on a2 or not? Would you? Tabatabe played king to f7. This is better than bishop takes on a2 because after b3 the bishop is trapped. King to f7. King to d2, g5, bishop to e3, rook from f to d8. Rook takes on d8, rook takes on d8, check, king to c3. And now we will see one very interesting endgame battle. White pawns are doubled, but they are still useful. The game continued. Rook to d7, a4, h5, b4, a6, b5, a takes on b5, a takes on b5. At the right moment, white would like to push pawn to c6. Bishop to f5. White to move. How should white continue? White rook on g8 is not the best placed. What is the best file for the white rook? What would you do? Koala played rook to a1, placing the rook on the open file. Bishop to e4, discouraging c6 by white. Attacking the bishop, bishop to f3, rook to a8. In some variations, white is intending rook to c8 to help his c6 pawn push. Rook to d1, rook to c8, king to e6, Bishop to d4, rook to c1, intending bishop to e4 and then rook takes on c2. Attacking the rook, rook to h1, intending rook takes pawn on h2. And then black pawn on h file is marching freely. This could be very dangerous pass pawn. How to defend the pawn on h2? What would you do? They say that the attack is the best defense. Rook to f8. Attacking the pawn on f6. f5. If rook takes on h2, then rook takes on f6. And white is winning in this variation. So we have f5. Rook to f6, check. King to d5. Attacking the bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Kovalev played this awesome move. c6. Past pawns must be pushed. Pawn takes pawn. And now? How do you continue now? b6. Let's play this is the best move. Play with the black pieces. Tabatabe resigned in view of this continuation. King takes bishop. b7 and what now? c5. Then pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. And I guess we can stop here. Vladislav Kovalev is the winner of the 2018 Aeroflot Open Chess Tournament. Congratulations Kovalev. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.